Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's your girl Jazz and I know it's a little late, later than promised as far as an update regarding the Arctic Air Tower, but the weather hasn't really exactly been cooperating with me, so I haven't been able to have the 100% 100 degree typical weather that I'm used to. So it's been about mid 90s, um, upper 80s weather. And it hasn't also been super sunny either. It's kind of been kind of gloomy. So I've kind of had to play with it a little bit. Um, for the most part, it actually works really well. Now, I don't expect it to cool an entire room as, you know, just the individual little personal cooling units, as they call them. As long as you have it on oscillation or and or, you know, within reasonable distance from you, it'll keep you cool. I woke up in the morning, turned off the AC, kind of let it cool down just a little, or actually warm up really, because I have it like about as low as it can go on the AC setting. I don't even know what temperature that is. I just move it all the way over. So I had to let it warm up a little bit. Um, I'd say maybe about 10 o'clock is when I would turn the Arctic air unit on. So that way to make sure the temperature stayed comfortable. Now it didn't get super cold or anything like that, but it kept me comfortable. I didn't really have to turn on the AC for the most part, unless it was right before bed, just because I like it extremely cold. A couple of things that I will say that I've experienced is that if you do not have ice water in it or really cold water, it won't keep you as cool. So that's going to be one of your key points on there. I think I, was, I think I was just laying in bed. I wasn't feeling too well this past weekend. and. I noticed that it was kind of getting humid in there in the bedroom because I did have all the, the doors closed and um, I felt the cool but after a while you know, of course the ice melted the water was getting kind of room temperature which is kind of ironic because I'm trying to get the room cooler but it's supposed to be room temperature <laughs> and yes it did start to get humid add some ice into it works pretty well now, as far as the timing goes, it does say up to 16 hours. Pretty much you can have it running 24 seven as long as there's air, or as long as there's air, as long as there's water in the tank right here, you can stay cool. So just keep adding ice into it and let it melt and you're gonna stay pretty comfortable. I wouldn't say cold, but comfortable given, you know, 100 degrees, it's gonna drop it down to about 80. And I'm looking as if I'm standing outside. So once again, indoors, you are going to be a cooler, for the most part, cooler temperature. Of course, unless you have the sun just kind of blaring on you. Overall, I'd give it a four out of five. I just wish there was a way to keep the water cold, which I'm not exactly sure how that would be possible. Um, I did have a the filter in the freezer overnight. My suggestion would be maybe get two or three filters so that way you can keep the frozen filter in rotation instead of having to worry about, you know, exactly ice in the bottom. So that way it'll, like I say, keep you cooler longer. Overall, I give it a four out of five, given that you do still need cold water, ideally ice water. I know a few years ago I did a, one of the homemade AC units where pretty much you're kind of have a bucket fan going in and as long as you have that cold ice in there it's going to keep you cool and so that's going to be the similar concept with this as long as the air that's blowing out from it is cold you're going to be comfortable i did kind of miss that little personal ac unit. homemade personal ac units <laughs> um, gotta get creative whenever you're trying to save money i mean because that's the time whenever things weren't uh, financially the best for me so kind of had to make do because i didn't want to have to um die of heat on top of you know going broke with the ac running 24 7. so that's kind of what this reminds me of is just a big you know obviously it's a fan but um just just a small little personal ac unit big small <laughs> given the other sizes are a little bit smaller so but it's still pretty small for the most part Definitely would recommend it, especially if you're trying to stay cool in a reasonably small area and you can have the constant cold water blowing. Otherwise, yes, it will get humid, it will get muggy, and you might not be happy with it. <laughs> Alright guys, so that kind of wraps it up. If you have any questions, please drop them below. I'd be happy to answer as much as possible. In the meantime, stay tuned, stay jazzy. Thanks for watching, guys.